Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, you know, I don't know if being famous is good. <laughs> what, but, what is that? But mean? a lot of wild shit will happen if you're famous. Like, what do you mean? Like, how? They want to steal your likeness and your voice. You want and to they, steal your likeness? Yeah. Do you hear what happened with Scar Joe? Scarlet Joe, your girl? No, what happened? Actually, I don't know the story. You don't know this story? Oh, no, okay. I'm not, I'm not familiar. All right, so OpenAI, we've heard about them. Okay. They're dubious and devious and bad. Uh, so the guy who runs it, Sam mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. Sam mm -hmm. Altman, something like that, he, uh, he went to Scarlett Johansson because he uh, wanted her to voice the AI bot. And uh, she was like, oh, hell no. And <laughs> So she didn't sign the agreement. To no, she didn't want her voice to be out there. You know, people having her say dirty things. You know what I mean? Like, she got kids, you know, all that stuff. And then he did it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he put it out. Okay. It sounds just like her. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I, I was... <laughs> That's kind of nuts. You can't do that. So, so she was like, hey, uh, I'm going to sue you now. And he was like, oh, just JK, we'll stop. So look, obviously for them to do the AI thing, she had to do some work with these people because they can't necessarily just like, I mean, she just Scarlett like Johansson. So I guess they could have took like they have enough from her, samples from her movies sample. probably, I'm sure. Yeah, But I'm thinking that she worked with them a little bit. <laughs> and then maybe she just didn't sign the agreement for it to go public. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh. All right. Well, is uh, that what happened? It is. Okay. <laughs> she just didn't sign the agreement. All right, look. So what happened is that Scarlett Johansson was working with this company. They said they were only going to use it for internal use. They were going to use it for internal and educational use. They went back on that promise. Or it actually was over a... Uh, where was it? It was when they were doing a presentation of their new system that one of the voices sounded eerily like Scarlett Johansson. Right. She, uh, it was brought to her attention by her fan base. Um, her and her friends and family all listened and they said, that sounds a lot like Scarlett Johansson. This open AI company said that they had hired a different actress to play, to, uh, to voice the open, to voice the open AI Scarlett Johansson voice. But on the same note, they also took it down as an option to use on their on their service so it's no longer you can no longer even use the scarlett johansson her voice now the thing with the whole her thing is that the her movie was a, a movie based on an ai uh that was voiced by scarlett johansson yeah and, and joaquin, joaquin phoenix fell in love with it the day that they released it I, I won't say the day that they released it but they also had a instagram or a twitter post that also coincided with it where they just had her H-E-R. Uh, and also they tried to work with Scarlett Johansson. So obviously these people, these tech guys, these tech bros, they really like that Scarlett Johansson movie where essentially where a man falls in love with an AI and has like relations with it. It's some weird so energy. like an AI fetish. Yeah, it is kind of an AI fetish. But um, so Scar Joe uh, did some work with them, but they never signed off on the, having it used as like the front facing or even a part of the program. It was supposed to all be internal. Yeah. So I don't know. It, what, it, what it comes down to, man, is that does she have rights to her voice? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. We've already seen this done a hundred times in music where uh, Tupac had the Drake uh, song, the Tupac Foundation or his family had the Drake right, right. video taken down because it used Tupac's voice. Obviously, George Carlin's voice was used. Nobody liked that. When it comes down to AI, it's disgusting that the only way you can do it is by stealing other people. It's kind of like riding off the backs of other people. You're either yes. stealing a voice, you're stealing somebody else's artistic style, you're stealing somebody, and it's just the AI putting it through a filter and putting some bullshit where the fingers are all fused together or the meat looks not normal. <laughs> I, it, yeah. It's I wonder, so nefarious right now. I feel like, okay, I feel like these tech bros... Mm -hmm. do this stuff mm -hmm. and then in secret they're making like little ai naughty girlfriends with scarlett johansson of course likeness that for like themselves like 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 he's just like sitting in his room he's like tell me more scarlett and it's like 
just like a deep fake with her voice and her face on his PC. Like, <laughs> oh, Johnny, you're so wonderful. Come and hang out with me. I'll do whatever you say. Like, yeah, and they're yeah, just like yeah. these weird. I, I don't know, man. Look, I, I'm, you're not even wrong because look, uh, when you think of the guys who created this open AI, you're thinking of like the smart guys, the guys who dedicated their lives to figuring out how to write code. Right, right, right. Yeah. So. You know, I necessarily think of these guys being able to pull chicks. And I don't know, maybe some of them I mean, are way... they're rich, so I mean, I'm sure they got some... some Ex- exactly, yeah. and yeah. maybe some of them are way more suave than I or you. You or I. I'm very not <laughs> suave, so probably very but, much so. But regardless, I could see them sitting around, watching the movie Her, being like, we need to make that. This is our goal. This is what we want. And honestly, it's... I won't say that it's it's an effed up vision for the future. I'll say is that it's a noble vision that you found something that you care about that much that you want. But they went a little too deep when they started stealing Scar Joe's voice, man. So I, 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 when it comes down to it, you can't have people that that sound just like a famous person, yeah, as as a part of your IP if you don't plan to get if you don't plan to get sued. Let me ask it's you this: happen. so you know that. They're saying, you know, it's like it's a lot harder for people to date. They're dating later. They're getting married later. You know, all that sort of stuff. Are you going to ask me if I want an F and AI? So so how do you feel about people having like an AI partner? You want me to you want me to fucking AI? No, not have sex with them. Like having like a computer program or a bot or something in your phone that like like it's not a Miku. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> there was a Japanese guy who married a Japanese. Um, I'm sorry, not a Japanese avatar, but a uh, an avatar of a. <laughs> I want to say an artist, dude, but it's like the gorillas. Okay, it's yeah. just like she's just like an anime chick, and she dances around on stage, and like some guy in a museum or in like a studio makes the music, and she sings. Right, it. right. But, but yeah, like, is that what you're talking about? Like it's like people finding companionship in AI when bro, they're lonely, like bro. No, no, you know, you and see you're laughing, you're fucking over, you're sitting over here smiling and shit because you just wanted to set me off. So I'd go on a rant. I you can't, you can't, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna let you bait me. I'm gonna go on a rant because I want to, not because you tried because you brought it up. It's because I want to do it. The last thing that humankind needs is for us to be falling in love with fucking toasters. All right. We don't need that shit in our lives. All right. We got plastics in our sex. We got ditty fucking bitches up. We got all these things. And now you want to go and love a freaking uh, a microwave. You want to go and love your coffee maker. You want to stick your dick in a refrigerator. She makes really good coffee. This is insane. It's insane that pe- like, look, I understand that talking to women is hard. I understand, especially like if you look at some of the trends in Japanese culture, we've talked about it before on the podcast, but there's a thing called the hikamoris where essentially it's like young men who spend a lot of times indoors. They don't spend a lot of time with women. Women end up doing the same thing. Everybody spends time indoors. There's no collaboration of the sexes. No babies are born. Oh my God, we need more babies. That is yeah. what we're going to go through. Nate, uh, history repeats Birth rates itself. are going down. Yeah. History repeats itself. We're experiencing that same idea right now in the States, and COVID did not help. It only hastened the idea of us having less interaction, and more interaction is what we need. That is how money is made. That is how bonds are formed. That is how people don't go insane. We are social creatures. We cannot speak to Even the Even the internet. biggest introvert needs social interaction. Like at some point, right? Like, yeah, yeah, Basically, no, no. There, there's I, your rant. You got it. I agree. Well, and and I think like if you're getting your companionship needs met from a machine, like it's gonna, you're gonna be even less driven to go out and interact with people. Amen. Like if you're sitting there and you're just like, I'm satisfied that you know yeah. she's asking me how I'm doing today. It's definitely a negative feedback loop, man. It's definitely that because. <sighs> God knows is that, like I said, man, we, we've talked about the whole idea of a cell phone, the fact that we never leave anywhere without a cell phone. Like right, literally, right. literally, we've talked about how I should just have a cell phone and plan it. Your cell phone has not left your, your touch. You've been touching your cell phone for like the last three hours. Yeah, but I'm using it for like stuff. No excuses. You know what? I don't care. It's funny. No I, excuses, it, but it might as no, well be attached it, to it, you. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I was actually talking to somebody just the other day yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's part of the reason I love going to the movies still is because it's like, it's still, disconnect. it's still forbidden 
to yeah. be on your phone and so i get to go in it is like the put one my place phone too, down huh? and like even if i want because like if i'm home watching a movie pick up the phone like what you know if you it's do it out of habit right. at any point you don't even want to look at it right i'm just like oh let me check out reddit i'm like i'm watching a movie what the hell am i doing <laughs> somebody might have put up a stupid fucking post that got seven thousand likes i need to look <laughs> at that but if i'm in the movies out of sight, out of mind. I'm focused. Mm. I'm like watching something. Mm. Like it's. I mean, that's why I like going to play volleyball. I don't look at my phone the whole time. It's in my bag. I don't even touch it. Like usually, I don't even check it to see if somebody's messaged me the whole time I'm there. And I'm like, this is nice. I'm outside. I'm with people. I'm disconnected from my phone. Like, mm. no, you make a valid point, man. You make a valid point. But it's sad that I have to be forced. Yeah, to a certain extent. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I can't be on my cell phone while I'm out there playing volleyball. And like, to think if, that there's... If you could, but tons of people have their goddamn watch. So they're still, like, their phone's in their bag, and I still see them, like, looking at their watch because they got text messages. I think the watch is way more cyborg than the phone, but it's it's pretty bad. Yeah, that's why I don't want the watch either. I don't I don't need to be even more connected to my cell phone. I'm sorry, Joe, but it's the future. Oh, I know. It is the future. I know. I'm going to have a, a 3-5 auxiliary jack put in behind my ear, and I'm just going to plug that bitch in. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got to pay a subscription service to access it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, do you want the speech part of your brain to be working? It's an extra three ninety nine a month. Would you like to talk today? One dollar. <laughs> oh, that would be good. Right. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep.